Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am home from a quick family trip to Las Vegas and I am back in my office filming and I am excited today because I saw this waiting on my front step when I returned home from my trip and this box came from my friends over at Mickey's Mystery Box. And Mickey's Mystery Box is a really great Disney subscription service. All of their items are from the parks uh, down in Florida, down in Walt Disney World. And they recently debuted their newest uh, subscription box offering which is this right here it's called the happily ever after box and the cool thing about this box is it's pretty affordable it's $39.95 and they guarantee that you will get double that value inside of your box so if you pay $39.95 that would mean that the total value of the items in this box is at minimum $79.90 so it's a 200% value box which is really cool and pretty unique especially if you're looking for a Disney subscription box that is is affordable and that gives you a lot of bang for your buck. So I have this box to open and review for you today. I'm pretty excited about it and I'm just gonna jump right in. It's been several months since I've opened up something from Mickey's Mystery Box, but if you go back, I think to like maybe this spring uh, and earlier on my channel, I was a subscriber to uh, their Phantasmic Box for like almost a year. I really love their service. So this is really fun to be, to be opening this up. And the first thing I'm seeing is uh, something that they always include in their boxes. They usually include at least one, if not uh, multiple Disney parks maps. So we have a Disney's Animal Kingdom map. Animal Kingdom is my, my favorite park. And then we also have a Disney's Hollywood Studios map, which is awesome because it features the new Toy Story Land, which I'm obviously a big fan of. So always fun to get some maps directly from the parks, especially up to date ones. I'm also seeing this cute Mickey Mouse postcard and on the back there's a nice note and they are letting me know that I have my own coupon code to share with you guys. So if you want to use my code, which is Becca10, you can save 10% off of your Mickey's Mystery Box uh, subscription or order, I think. So I'll leave that code down below as well as a link to their website. And let's jump on in here. I am seeing some fun blue packing confetti, very exciting. And I am also seeing right on top this fun wrapped up thing. If you know anything about Disney Parks products, when you see something wrapped up in this crinkly brown paper, it usually means that it is something fragile, and I love getting fragile things from uh, from Disney. I, I secretly hope it's a mug. I've, I've stopped myself from buying most Disney mugs now because I have too many, but I love getting them in subscription boxes. So let's open this up and see if it's a mug or, or what the heck it is. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 it is a mug. It's a really awesome mug. It is a Disney's Magic Kingdom mug. Here's a close-up, here's a close-up. Okay, this one is pretty cool. The mug is designed to look like one of the towers of the, of the castle, and it says Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom, 1971, and it's got a little Magic Kingdom Cinderella Castle um, logo on it, so that's really cool. And on the back, you've got the uh, 2018 um, Disney Parks kind of theme -y design, which is this kind of passport compass design, which I love, by the way, and it's got Mickey's uh, face right in the middle of it. So I really love this mug, actually. I don't think I've ever even um, seen this one, but it's very high quality, uh, really quite a large mug, and I love that it's Magic Kingdom and Castle themed. And because we are keeping track of the value of this box for this video, this mug retails for $19.99, so about a $20 item right here. All right, the next thing I'm pulling out is soft and squishy. It is an Ufufi. It's actually a Beauty and the Beast themed Ufufi. Ufufis were um, all the rage for quite a while. They seem to be still a big thing in Japan, but they've kind of died down a little bit here in the States. But this is Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast, and he smells... Oh, he smells like roses. I think some of them had, were smelling like apple blossoms, but I guess the Beauty and the Beast ones smell like roses, which would make sense because the Enchanted Rose. Um, but he's really super cute. I'll give you a little close-up of this guy. So here he is, the Lumiere Ufufi. He's got his little uh, candlesticks here. And um, here's the little tag. I smell like a rose. That is very adorable. I think the retail price on Ufufis is around $5, so I'm gonna call this one a $5 value. I could be wrong, because sometimes I'm wrong, but I think it's about a $5 item. There's no uh, no price tag on, on this guy. All right, it looks like there are three or even four more items left in this box. This next thing I'm gonna pull out, I'm pretty excited about. It is a pair of ears, and I love, 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 love getting ears. I have quite the collection of ears. And um, this one is one that I don't actually have yet. I have something similar um, from the Disneyland 60th, but it's these kind of like almost metallic-y looking ears, and then it's got a tall pink bow with um, 
uh, rhinestones in the center. And I actually really like these. I just saw my friend Taryn over at the channel Twinkle Bell Taryn wearing these. And um, I'm excited that I have matching ears as Taryn now. Hi, Taryn, if you're watching. I'll link to Taryn's channel down below since I'm talking about her. She's got a lovely channel. But yeah, these are really cute. And here's a little closer look at these ears. I really like this kind of metallic-y uh, ear thing. I don't have any ears that have this finish on them. And there's that pretty pink bow. It's very, very girly, and it's very, very tall. And um, I think these will look good on camera, so I'm excited to wear these in a video. Maybe my next, my next video I'll wear these. The retail value of these ears is $24.99, so we are already well over the cost of this box, which is awesome. All right, moving on down toward the bottom of this box. There's still quite a few things in here. Wow. Um, I've got something that is Pandora-related, so from the Pandora land at Animal Kingdom. It says ACE Alpha Centauri Expeditions, which is the sort of flight of passage company, the sort of fictional company, I think. And um, this, I think, you wear cross body and I'm excited you guys because I think this is actually meant for pins it unvelcros and then inside there is this little um, piece of felt and I think you um, tack your pins to the felt so you could wear this on your body with your little pins attached and use this for pin trading in the park so it's like a little um, pin trading, like not lanyard, but like a little pin trading pouch that you sometimes see various cast members wear, but this is a, a Pandora themed one. And it's got like a strap and a little um, buckly guy. I've got to figure out sort of the logistics of how one would actually wear this, but it's really cool because it is Pandora themed and I love Pandora. And it is also for pins. So this is like a double whammy for me. If you watch my channel, you know I love Animal Kingdom and you know I love pins. So this is like right up my alley. And let's see the price on this. Also $24.99. All right, we are getting down there, and I'm seeing three more items still, which is crazy. Um, two of the items are pins, and amazingly, they are both pins that I don't have, which is shocking because I really have so many pins. And one is from Walt Disney World, and one is from the Shanghai Disney Resort, and they're both really glittery and beautiful. So I'll show you a close-up of uh, both of these at once. Here is the first pin. It's an open edition Walt Disney World pin. It's actually beautiful. It's got this kind of like 3D, almost sculpted feeling castle. It's gold, the writing is gold, and then it is surrounded by just really beautiful blue glitter. I love this pin. I actually um, haven't noticed this one before, but this will probably be a keeper for me. There are two pin posts in the back, and you can kind of faintly read that this says silver, um, and the price for the silver code is $9.99, so a $10 pin right here. And then from the Shanghai Disney Resort, we also have this beautiful thing featuring the Fab Five plus Daisy and Duffy and Chip and Dale. So all sorts of fun classic characters. It says grand opening down here. You've got some beautiful yellow glitter. And this is actually a pin on pin design and it's quite large. This is definitely a heavy duty pin. Um, it says the price in the back, uh, but I don't know what that means in terms of American dollars. So I'm gonna give this like, mm, like a $14 retail value because that's probably around what it would go for in the actual American parks uh, if this were if this were at its retail value. That's my guess. So I'm gonna say $14 value on this one just because it is such a large pin with so many embellishments and it's also pin on pin with two pin posts. Like it's a it's a nice hefty pin, y'all. It's it's a really good pin. Dang, I like getting pins in the mail. That was awesome. And the, believe it or not, there's still one more item left in this box. So the value on this box is gonna be pretty high, I think. And and I'm actually really excited about this. This is a CD of Magic Kingdom event party music. So it's like specialty music that they play in Magic Kingdom during the uh, holiday events. So they've got some tracks from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, including the Hollow Wishes track and the Boo To You Halloween Parade track. And they also have some music from um, the Disney Pirate and Princess Party, which is no longer a thing, but it, it used to be a thing. Um, so they've got the parade music and the Dream Along with Mickey music. I love the music that they play 
display in the Disney park. So this is really cool. The retail price on this is $24.98, which I think is pretty expensive for a CD, but that was the retail value. So I'm gonna add it up as retail value. So here is the front. It says Magic Kingdom, Event Party Music. And here is the back with a list of all the tracks. I'm actually really excited to have the um, Hollow Wishes music. I'll be using this on my channel probably later on this uh, fall season. So definitely a good choice for me. All right, that is everything in my Happily Ever After Mickey's Mystery Box. I'm pretty excited about all of it. I'm gonna quickly just get my phone out and add up the retail value of the box so we can compare that to the total cost of the box. And like I said, it's gonna be double the amount of what the box costs, which is honestly a pretty great deal if you're, uh, if you're in the market for some Disney Parks merch. Okay, math is done, thank heavens. And uh, the total retail value of this box comes to almost $114 which is amazing considering that the actual cost of the box is $39.95. So that is like almost triple actually uh, the price that you pay for this box. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Good job, Mickey's Mystery Box. Even though this box is not customizable, I feel like I got some really good useful items for me, like the pins. Um, but I think my favorite item from the entire box is this CD because I'm just such a big fan of the parties and the parks and, um, and I love the Halloween party music especially. I'm also really excited about this mug, so I think this was a great box. I'm actually really impressed. And I really appreciate you all clicking this video and watching, please leave a comment down below and let me know which was your favorite item from this box. And also, if you want to check out Mickey's Mystery Box, so this box, which is their Happily Ever After box, or any of their box offerings, I will leave a link to their website down below. I'll try to put some links down below to my previous unboxings of their um, Fantasmic box, which is also great. And then reminder that I do have a coupon code, Becca10, and you can save 10% off, which makes this an even more awesome value. So I'm pretty impressed by that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back really soon, like tomorrow soon, with some more fun Disney content for you, so stay tuned. Until then, I hope you are having a magical day, and I will see you real soon. Bye, guys. I don't know if I'm elated or gassy, but I'm somewhere in the zone. Because for the first time in forever, I won't be alone.